A common request I get by people is, can you change me into a cartoon? Well, this isn't a easy task, but it's not as complicated as it seems either. The style is totally up to you, but the thing you really have to do here is you have to make the cartoon look like the person, otherwise they won't be satisfied. To do this right, you have to use proportions. That's why here you see me using the ruler on this photo, which I printed out to be relatively the same size as the cartoon. The main goal is to get the right proportions, so everything will come together as the sketch starts to look more like the person in the picture. Start with the width of the head, and then measure the height of the head, then go to the nose, mouth, and finally the eyes. And once you have these features in place, you can get a pretty good idea of what the face will look like on paper. Remember, this is a cartoon, so it doesn't need to look exactly like the person in the photo. You can use your own style and your own artistic license to change it up a little bit and make it unique. Once all the features are adjusted to their proper proportions, you can enlarge or maybe make the head smaller or the chin bigger or smaller, you know, if the person has distinct features on their face, maybe you want to bring those out a little bit. In this drawing, I didn't really have to do that very much. I was satisfied with the way it turned out the first time around. So once I got done sketching and everything with the pencil, I went ahead and used a pen to come in and kind of trace all the outlines of everything. And this is what will really make that picture pop. I chose the background music you're hearing right now because the person who commissioned me to do this cartoon is actually a music producer. If you like his music, you can check out his SoundCloud account and link below. Um, he's going to be using this cartoon as a profile picture to put on some of his albums and on his website. I'm going to show you another little trick here, and that is removing some of the mistakes in the drawing. Since it's ink, we can't erase it, but we can take a very sharp knife and slowly and very carefully scrape off the top layer of the paper. So as you can see, this face has a very distinct cartoon look to it. It's very bold and it has that special style. It also looks like the person too. So if you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel Fritz Hobby. I'll be covering different forms of art and you can see more videos like this one and hopefully they provide a benefit to you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.